Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shochin Andan Dotto from Eco Learning, Learning from Home. So today we'll learn about the conservation biology, the introduction of conservation biology. So this uh, presentation is totally on the introduction of conservation biology. So conservation means the keeping nature in our future. So conservation biology, it's a new discipline of biological sciences or new discipline in science. So that dealing with the natural resource management. So it's deal that the how we will keep our natural resources for our future generation. So that's the conservation biology. So conservation biology is the management of nature and our biological diversity with the aim the objectives of this uh, conservation biology is to protect the species, protect their habitat and ecosystem from excessive rate of extinction. The extinction rate is increasing very high and the erosion of biotic interaction. So this is conservation biology and it's an interdisciplinary subject as it's required all kind of uh, sciences like natural science and social sciences also in natural science and ecology genetic simulation in geology chemistry statistics mathematics biogeography so all kind of sciences and um, combinedly make this science this conservation biology and it's draw the mm, drawing on natural and social science and it's practice of nature resource management that's the thing to manage the natural resources next conservation biology so conservation biology it's the management of natural resources I have already told it and with the help of science and technology so what the natural resources the resources are the agriculture fishery forest wildlife and park or protected area so these natural resources will be protected or managed by use of science that science would be two types one is the natural science and one is the social science these two type of science and with the help of the technology that technology leads with the gis that geographical information system it could be remote sensing it could be modeling it could be different technical uh, terms or different uh, technology used different instrument different methodology that's the technology used to manage these natural resources with the help of science and the origin the term conservation biology it's born it's born in 1978 it's a very recent uh, term and it's born first uh, used in uh, the conference on conservation biology held in university of california in 1978 and the conference will lead uh, by two american biologists bruce and michael and uh, they did a landmark publication on conservation biology they introduced the subject on their publication Soli and wilcox in 1980 they published the conservation biology and evolutionary and ecology perspective and that uh, publication result a new scientific organization that deals with the conservation that the society for conservation biology that institute is building from this uh, conference or uh, introduced in this uh, publication and also they introduced the new discipline that's a conservation biology so that's the origin of conservation biology then why conservation biology the main thing that why we need the conservation biology why do we need this subject so as it's a crisis discipline so it's a crisis discipline what are the crisis the crisis is that we see that 50 percent of our biological diversity will be lost in next several decades so it's a biggest threat to the earth biological diversity and the disrupt of ecosystem function climate change, invasive species, over harvesting of natural resources, pollution impact on species ecosystem and human population. So these are the, all the crises, these are the, all the threat to natural resources that threats dealing the depletion, depletion of natural resources and these natural resources and wildlife that re required to be conserved. So that's the origin of conservation biology. So that's why we need this subject. It's a crisis discipline. This, these are the crises. For to dealing this crisis, we need this subject conservation biology and there are three main objectives or three main goals of conservation biology what are these first to investigate biological diversity on what 
so whatever the biological diversity is present on that we have to investigate it we have to understand the biological diversity on earth then we have to understand that their impact on human means human impact on the species on the community and the ecosystem so how the human are impacted uh, human impacts uh, on species community and ecosystem then to develop the practical interdisciplinary approach so as we earlier discussed that it's an interdisciplinary approach so interdisciplinary approach to prevent the extinction to prevent the extinction maintain genetical diversity and restore or protect restore or protect the community along with the ecosystem so these are the three main objectives or goal of conservation biology then the conservation conservation the tools of conservation are the two types one is the in situ conservation one is the ex situ conservation in situ conservation in situ conservation means the conservation of the species in the natural habitat in their natural habitat means in their wild habitat in their wild habitat this example a natural park and national park wildlife sanctuary so and all the protected area so if you protect a species or conserve a species in their protected or natural habitat that is the in-situ conservation on the other hand the ex-situ conservation is the conserving of a species in isolation in isolation of their natural habitat not in their natural habitat the protected in juice if they protected in botanical garden they are also protected in the gene bank seed bank so these are all the example of the ex-situ conservation next talk about the lots of international or national institute or organization they working or different program these are the men based on the conservation on this institute or organization working on the conservation so first of all that's IUCN it's a famous international organization that dealing with the conservation science and conservation of the natural resources so that's international union for conservation of nature and natural resources and they introduce the red data book they introduce red data book red data book is the list of the threatened species and in a book that is called Red Data Book, okay. And WWFA World Wildlife Fund for Nature, okay. Then IBWL Indian Board of uh, Wildlife for Indian Context, then IBP International Biological Program, UNDP International De United Nations Development Program, then MAB Man and the Biosphere, Greenpeace Sites, CBD Convention on Biological Diversity, and then many more international institute and program they are working on the conservation. So let's talk about sites. Sites is a convention of international trade in endangered species. So it's set up in 1988. So they control to encourage the sustainable exploitation of species. So if you want to exploit any species, it should be in sustainable way. It should be in sustainable way. So there will be three triangle. One is the economical, one is the social, and one is the ecological. So these three triangles should be addressed and these uh, resources could be sustainable for the near future. And site determine the status of a species they also determine the status of a species whether it's required the exploitation or not so regulation they regulate uh, on the exploitation of the species and they determine uh, the status of a species according to appendix uh, so different appendix depending on the uh, their status so what are the sites appendix sites appendix or they are they have three appendix appendix one appendix two appendix three appendix one dealing with the total ban on ex exploitation so this this uh, in, in in this appendix the species they and the resources are included in this uh, in this group we, we, we cannot exploit them so they are their number is already uh, to in, in in the threat uh, region that we can't exploit this so ban on exploitation appendix two are the limit limited exploitation subject to quota so if we have that much of resources we have that much of stock then we can you, you, you can exploit it we can exploit that much so if we have to understand the first stock then according to stock or that that is the subject to quota that according to that particular stock we can exploit okay and uh, that that would be also sustainably okay and the species require protection in certain state only certain state particular region or particular condition or particular state the species require protection okay so this uh, site's appendix is uh, reassess in every two years okay next talk about the map 
or man and the biosphere program it's an unesco program unesco program launched in 1971 it's an intergovernmental scientific program that main objective or aim of a map is to conservation to establish a scientific basis of improvement relationship between people and their environment so human and environment their relationship it's it's the main thing uh, to and that could be in a sustainable way to sustainable development and the logistic support so these are the main objectives of uh, map man and biosphere program then uh, wwf wwf is world wild uh, fund or world wild fund for nature so it's established or set up in 1961 it's a non governmental organization it's uh, dealing with the uh, lots of conservation educational program conservation awareness program and it's raised lots of fund for conservation so wwf it's an, a world famous organization working on the conservation science of nature and natural resources then the asian red list we have already discussed is asian red list which are the species and the threatened so these species are listed in the asian red list so red list first published in 1964 and this uh, red list is generated from the species program and also the species survival commission and this assess of conservation status of a species or subspecies or varieties even selected subpopulation on global scale okay then highlight few taxes uh, is it threatened or extinct or endangered so that is the uh, iucn status that iucn status are that extinct extinct means this 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 species are no longer belongs so no longer present in on earth so they are already extinct from the earth and this kind of species like dodo like uh, disc uh, lots of species are already extinct from uh, the earth then extinct in wild this kind of species are uh, extinct in the wild habitat but they are present in ex situ type of uh, area like it could be present in a geological park or botanical park or gene bank city but it's natural habitat it's already extinct okay then threatened threatened are also divided into three one is critical endangered one is endangered one is vulnerable so critical endangered is the species they are very their, their number is too low that critically they are endangered they would be very high straight to be extinction then endangered this kind of species have an uh, in dangerous situation to be extinct and vulnerable these species are also vulnerable to be in danger or critical in danger near threatened the species have a very close uh, to threatened okay then least concern those species we don't uh, have that much uh, bother about those species then also there will be data deficiency so this is the all kind of iucn status according to uh, the species condition or species status we put them in uh, in, in in each and every group then according to IUCN, they are telling that more than 26,500 species are threatened with extinction. I mean, they are very close to extinction. So 26,500 species are uh, close to extinction. They are already having the biggest threat. So this among this 40% of amphibia are facing to be uh, extinct. Okay. Uh, and mammals 25%, then coniferous tree 34%, birds 40%, then the reef, coral reef 30%, and selected constitution 27%. So the highest threat to be extinct is the amphibia and the coral reef. These two species or two group of the species, two groups are very much uh, threat because they are very much sensitive species. They are very much um, affected with the little change in the environment and they are very susceptible to the environmental condition changing or the climate change. So global climate change is a huge impact on these two group of species because they are very sensitive species. So what are these uh, threatened? Threatened means the species whose population number is decreased and likely to be decreased more in future. So they are called threatened species. So their population will be decreased and they are very likely to be decreased more in future. So they are called threatened species. 
next talk about uh, the according to iocian categories a few example of the species that already uh, belongs to this iocian category so first of all extinct so there are passenger pigeon dodo then the mammoth so these are already extinct on earth okay then extinct in wild uh, so like south china sea so south china tiger okay these are extinct in wild but may be present in uh, geological park so possibly this south china tiger is possibly extinct in the wild in 1970s then guam kingfisher it is also to be extinct uh, in the wild since 1986 so no in after 1986 the species is no longer uh, seen in the wild habitat then the critical endangered species, critical endangered species, example, the Western gorilla, then black rhinoceros of Africa. So they are already is very high straight to be extinct sand. Okay, then endangered red panda, fishing cat, the vulnerable leopard cat, cheetah, dugong, they are very uh, vulnerable to be uh, endangered or to be critical endangered. Then near church and the stryphina, tiger shark, uh, least concern, saltwater crocodile, Indian peep fowl, and zero deficiency, the greater drop limits. Mean, mean they are very rare. They are, they are data already, it's not sufficient to be placed in this uh, other categories. And then not evaluated. There are lots of species, they are abundant, so it's, it's, it's not uh, required to evaluate. So they are already not evaluated for the ISHED status. So that's all. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and family member and hit the like uh, hit the uh, bell icon for future notification uh, video. Thank you.